Welcome to the WV Mason Coaches Report. I'm joined with Hofstra head softball coach Larissa Anderson. The Pride went 2-3 and three this weekend at the Michelle Smith Tournament down in Clearwater, Florida. Thanks for joining us today, Coach. My pleasure. Uh, so, let's talk a little bit about last weekend. Um, two wins, including a big win over Binghamton, 14-6 to six in five innings. Um, offense really came alive in that game. What was going well in that game for your team? Like you said, hitting, hitting the ball very well. Um, overall, all five, five games, we hit the ball very, very well. Um, we, were, we weren't overmatched with any pitching that we did see. Um, we made adjustments. We saw a number of pitchers at all different speeds and all different abilities. Um, very, very happy with our offense, very happy with our defense. Um, we gave up one bad inning every game, and that's really where we have to make the adjustments. Mm -hmm. You played Oklahoma State, South Florida, and Wisconsin, three teams that have gotten off to good starts. What, how, is, how important is it to play high-caliber teams right in the beginning of the season for your team to kind of gauge where you are? It, that's it. It's huge, you know, because the, the great teams are going to expose your weaknesses right away. Um, so we're able to sit back and evaluate that this is where we were exposed, this is where we need to improve, so we can continue to get better throughout the course of the year and prepare ourselves for conference playoffs. Um, you know, those three teams that you mentioned, South Florida, Wisconsin, and Oklahoma State, they're, they're playing very, very well. Um, and we played well against them. And, you know, we, we fought back in the, in the end of the game in both the South Florida and the Wisconsin game. We had the time run on base. We had the winning run on base. Um, and it's just a matter of, of putting yourself in those opportunities to have a chance to win, and we did. Um, we didn't get the key hit when we needed it, but we fought back, and we, we saw a lot of good things over those five games. Yeah, that was actually the next thing I was going to ask. You did start to make a comeback in both the game against South Florida and Wisconsin. What did you like from your team as far as their mentality in you know, really making that push to, to make it a game? It's that resiliency, that they didn't give in when they were down, that they crawled, clawed their way back, that they competed, because um, it's very easy that when you're down to pack it in. And they fought their way back. They, they got themselves in a situation where in that seventh inning, they got the leadoff batter on base. And then they continued to have multiple hits and get multiple people on base mm -hmm. to put the pressure on the other team. Um, both games, I believe we had bases loaded, mm -hmm. um, you know, going into that last out. And, you know, a pitch here or a little blue pair, things could be a different, different situation. Um, but we put ourselves in, in a position to have an opportunity to win. Mm -hmm. And we always say whenever we're down, get the time run to the plate. Because at that point, anything can happen. Right. You know, we're still in the ball game and we were able to do that. You had two uh, <coughs> freshman pitchers make a couple of starts, make their college debuts. Um, you put Alyssa Irons in against Oklahoma State and against South Florida. What does it say about your trust in her to put her in in those big games? I have trust in all three of them. Um, I wanted to be able to expose Irons to that level right away. Mm. Um, and Cornell will probably be the next one. I know right. Pestlag has been in that situation. So it was putting Irons in that. Um, she wanted the ball. Mm. Um, she competed. And she has the ability because she can throw the ball on four different planes and she has a good off speed. So it was putting her in that situation right away to, to really see is she able to respond mm. and be able to continue it through the course of the game. She threw all seven innings. Mm -hmm. um, she competed, and again, it was just that one bad inning that really necessarily wasn't always her fault. You right. know, we didn't make some plays defensively behind her, mm -hmm. um, but we have to learn how to make. You know, once they put up one run, don't put a crooked number up on the mm -hmm. board and you know score multiple runs in that inning. Right. This weekend, you head back down to Florida for another tournament um, that includes teams like Rutgers and BC, and you see Wisconsin again. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you expecting from this weekend? we got to get better, um, you know, continually. I, I hope we maintain our aggressiveness at the plate because um, we spawned the bat very, very well. Defensively, we have to stay fundamentally perfect and don't give up a lot of free bases. I was very happy overall with, with the way we played defensively. We made some big plays in the outfield, some diving plays by some of our first-year players, which is great. Um, having a shortstop, a freshman shortstop with Kristen Hollum, she played unbelievable in her first, first tournament as a collegiate player. Um, but the big thing is going to be our pitching, mm -hmm. um, getting ahead of batters. That's really where we, we were weak. We, mm -hmm. we threw a lot of ball ones first, and mm -hmm. we have to get that strike one, and now we can really control the at-bat. Mm -hmm. This has been the WB Mason Coaches Report with Hofstra head softball coach Larissa Anderson. The Pride is back down in Florida this weekend, taking on Rutgers, Wisconsin, Florida Gulf Coast, Florida International, and Boston College. Thanks for joining us today, Coach. My pleasure.